nice. Uh, well, I should have been with like the way he can, thanks to the hand to hell of it. Um, I am vlogging today. I was going to vlog yesterday during the King's coronation, but I didn't end up doing it. But I have filmed a lot of like montage footage in New Brighton, so I was staying over at New Brighton um, yesterday to um, celebrate the King's coronation. Yeah, like, like a festival thing here. It was lovely. It was gorgeous. I was about to say delicious. I didn't even know the hot dogs were delicious. I had churros as well. That was delicious as well. Um, so I got some like montage footage of that. So I'll show you guys that now. Yeah, it's um, quite good, but now I'm going to Liverpool today, so I'm having a bit of a cute day out in Liverpool, and um, yeah, so I'm very excited. I'm in Liverpool, so you can see all the like, Eurovision stuff, like the, all the all the Eurovision stuff. So I think behind us, uh, where all the Eurovision stuff is going on next week. But yeah, I'm in Liverpool. It's sunny. It's lovely out today. Um, I just couldn't be more happy, to be honest. Wait, so I'm in the museum of Liverpool. So I don't know what all the like, broken plates are, but I'll have to properly read up on it. But like broken plates here and glasses. It must mean something. Okay, so these are like finds from the Manchester stock landfill. So these must have all been like in that landfill. And they must have just like been found and cleaned and obviously up here. Now I've been here like a few weeks back and I don't remember all this. Like you must like put all these in new, but I actually remember all this. Like I, I came like they were like building around it and they were like sort of like re sort of building the museum. So they like, all kind of like walls and stuff but you must have like put new stuff in since because look at all these I mean you think I'm just gonna all like military guns and all that I don't know guys I'm not a museum um person like I have no clue what like some of these things are so I'm kind of like, like looking around just to be like oh that's, that's very interesting um but these are very interesting though aren't they? Do you suit a feather bonnet so you must have to put your head through here and see if you suit a feather bonnet I'm trying to put my head through and blow at the same time. Like, can you kind of see me? Like, do I suit a feather bonnet? Like, um, it's supposed to be your face through there, it's supposed to be like a proper bonnet thing, but um, I don't know, guys. So I'm just walking along this like road bit here at the back of Albert Dock and look how look at the views like you can't deny this view is amazing like I think this morning I was like like an hour ago actually I was over there in New Brighton and now I'm like here so that's crazy to me but um yeah so I'm just walking along here just enjoying these views like it's amazing. I mean, that's where I'm hosting like the Eurovision thing in that arena there that's where the whole Eurovision things gonna go on next week and see fences and there's the ferris wheel thing as well so i went to that ferris wheel which was like a year ago something like that it's like i thought it was quite expensive like it was like 15 pounds to go on this like ferris wheel there you can see it or not but it was like literally so expensive like it was like 15 16 pounds and to be honest the views weren't all too great so like, i think i've had better views just like looking out into the sea like all you get is like concrete buildings really so uh, not the greatest views and quite expensive but I mean, the thrill of it was quite good because we are quite high up, so that's what I liked about it. I'm at the Albert Dock from it now, so I'm gonna go look around there. So I'm out of vlog watch actually, I'm just gonna do some boring old montages, so there's that. <laughs>
served went to a coffee place which I actually love called Bean Coffee. Like I go to like all the time whenever I go to the pool. It's like a small coffee shop, but if you move into a new building, it's, like, it's called Bean Coffee. And it's all like all kinds of like, lattes and all kinds. And it's like an independent coffee shop, which I love. I went there and tried to say vanilla earl tea latte kind of thing. And to be honest, it wasn't that nice. Like, I don't know, it wasn't my cup of tea. And I also had a like, billionaire cinnamon roll thing as well, which was quite nice. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to get an earl tea latte thing. I was trying to be quirky, okay? I was trying to be cute and quirky and have earl tea lattes. Is that even the name? I don't know. Um, but it was not nice, so I think I'll definitely stick to just lattes, like the normal lattes. But anyway, I'm off to Primark, as you can see. So, um, yeah. back home i am back home at last oh my god i never honestly thought i'll get home today because it was so stressful trying to get back so we tried to go to the train station so obviously where lime street was and obviously because like eurovision because obviously eurovision's happening in liverpool like, it's literally cordoned off like half of liverpool so where lime street station is where like the museum bit is and i think they're doing one part of eurovision there so when we was trying to walk to the Lime Street Station, like there's like huge like green walls which like blocked all of it where the entrance off is off. So um, that was a struggle. So we tried to go around the back where like the museum bit is, where Liverpool Museum is, that was also blocked off as well. So there was like no way of getting to where Lime Street Station is. So I thought, oh, we'll have to try and take the bus. So we was trying to go to another road. So it's a good job I know my way around Liverpool like really well because I would have been like lost otherwise. But and um, we tried to go where the road bit is. So around where the back of the Liverpool Museum is, that was blocked off as well. So we had to turn back and then go another way through to where the road you catch the buses. And we managed to get back there and then we was like walking. I was about to walk at the side of Liverpool Lime Street station and then go to where another street is that you can turn left onto and it gets like where it's like you can catch a bus, if that makes any sense. Um, but when I was like walking at the side of the Lime Street station, I then saw that people were going into Liverpool Lime Street. So then I realised that the side of where Liverpool Lime Street station is, where the side entrance is, that was open. So all that walking and I realised, well, saw that Liverpool Lime Street station is open. So we just had to use the side entrance. And so, um, yeah, I was quite stressful. Um, but we eventually got on the train and got back home so anyway so that was quite stressful and also in other news um i've also got a sore foot now so the foot the sore back of my foot and one thing about my skin is like i have like really sensitive skin and what i mean by that is that my skin easily peels or blisters or things that's why i can't really wear like leather shoes like i have to wear i had to buy like leather shoes which were like are like soft backs because if I wear like leather shoes like normally leather shoes have like soft like really hard like backs where the ankle would go and I can't wear those because they become like really painful as they start to like shed my skin but I'm going to show you the pain in my feet right now so I have to warn you guys that if you guys are sensitive to skin peeling or anything like that then probably don't look for the next few seconds so I'm not sure you can see it but that's where it is it's a lot more sort of redder on camera but the same camera's quite blurry it's not focusing on the feet anyway i am back home and i'm gonna make myself a glass of water because i'm very thirsty and then probably have some crumpets so life should be great all right so i've just got some strawberry waffles so i think like got delivered right now wow, a bit of waffle oh. um it looks nice but it was like a lot more small than i realized like it cost me like 10 pound 99 
I know they got this size waffles, like that to me is a bit of a rip off, but it's still a nice waffle, so yeah. So here it is in like closer detail. I swear like years ago it was much more bigger, but I feel like it's like significantly reduced in size. <laughs> 